let's talk about Chloe Savengi. Chloe Savengi, let's talk about her. So Chloe Savengi um, did a really amazing cover story for Rolling Stone where she's gone a bit viral because she's declared her hate for dogs, which is a little bit, you know, it's a bit of a lukewarm hot take because I think most people um, who are in the business of hot takes, myself included, have always questioned, um, you know, especially nowadays people's over dependencies on pets and shit right people kind of replacing actual friends and um, actual human connections with furry feline um dogs and cats and shit right it's just a bit weird a bit annoying especially in the uk and london it's gone a bit crazy every man and their fucking dog has a fucking dog and it is a bit too much but but I probably think it's probably tenfold in a place like New York, right? Because I feel like as much as people complain about people that have dogs and shit, the main reason why people are now so attached to their dogs and cats is because people are just horrible, isn't it? People are just exhausting to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I can really understand why some people are replacing actual human connection with pets. Especially if you think about it, a lot of my friends that I know got their pets during the pandemic. So they weren't able to actually go outdoors. You couldn't actually maybe see your friends. So the only way to kind of feel some level of connection, to feel some sort of love, right, was obviously to get yourself a dog. And that's why people went and got dogs. And obviously there was a bit of an issue when people were allowed to go back outside again. And then people started, you know, basically abandoning those same dogs and whatever it may be. But the whole thing around it was that, people are just insufferable and exhausting to deal with so i'm just gonna replace that with a furry animal and i kind of get it but i also understand where she's coming from because just imagine what the issue will be like in new york and how packed how packed that whole situation will be walking down philippine the streets you know those streets in new york and stuff and having tons of people running at you with their fucking dogs so let's see what she had to say about the dogs thing via this um article courtesy courtesy of the rolling stones so the question was this how do you feel about the state of new york city it's increasing it's increasingly a city for the rich she says yes <laughs> the athleisure and dogs are taking over and it's really unfortunate imagine asking new chloe savengi about the rich when she's actually rich <laughs> right it's actually isn't she one of the pro isn't she one of the people that you're speaking about anyway let's continue the athleisure and the dogs are taking over and it's really unfortunate everybody's in lululemon and has a fucking dog and it's driving me crazy. Be up close to Vengi. I'm sorry, dog lovers. There are too many of you. I'm not going to I'm not going out to clubs in Ridgewood. So I'm so I'm sure it's there somewhere, but I'm not experiencing it. I hope there are places for people to go where they want. I miss the mega clubs and the accessibility. I would like to know that they were there in Manhattan and not in Ridgewood, which is very far. At the same time, the city seems closer as far as closer as far as you're going out or the other bars in the Uber. We do car services and it's harder to access areas because of subways, buses and not going to certain areas. And I really do agree with her. I really do agree that there's way too many people out there with dogs and wearing athleisure. The athleisure thing is interesting because there's this trend now i'm sure most of you have seen it where young girls wear like tights and then they wear like um white socks over them tights um usually nike socks and maybe a pair of blazers or some like new balance shoe or like a nike shoe right and they'll have like a little um, naught face on like a little like a little puffer jacket i always assumed those girls are coming from the gym i didn't know that that's not gym wear by the way do you know that they're just wearing that to walk around do you know that's a thing people are now wearing workout clothes and not going to work out so people are literally so lazy they can't even bother to work out they can't even bother to wear like actual clothes so they're actually wearing athleisure stuff like you know lululemon um under armor gymshark nike whatever but they're not actually going to the gym do you guys know that's the thing people are going around the street with their adidas sorry with their apple airpod maxes carrying a little stanley like i've got here right little bitch stanley wearing their athleisure and their white socks and their fucking running shoes and they're not running that is insane so imagine that person who's not actually going to work out wearing workout clothes to go because again maybe i'm maybe i'm a bitch but i think wearing workout clothes to work to walk your dog is redacted <laughs> <laughs> just walk your dog you don't need to like turn it into a workout like not like the the people that have to like 
merge things to get it done, I think are the most annoying people in the world. The people that turn, like, I don't know, you know, someone at work, like, that uses, oh, I'm going to take the stairs as like a workout. You know, that person at work, like, I'm going to take the stairs. Go take the stairs. I'm taking a fucking lift. They put this lift here. They don't pay me enough to fucking walk the stairs anyway. If the lift is working, I'm going to use the fucking lift. That person's like, oh, I'm going to use the stairs. I'm going to walk the long way around. It's like, yeah, go work. Go go for a run. You need to turn your fucking commute into a fucking workout. It's fucking redacted. So, what you know, wearing, wearing fucking high-vis outfit and running shoes to go walk your dog is super weird. Just put on your shorts and go walk your dog normally like everyone else does, right? It's not that deep. You should be, you should be really be, you should really walk your dog in slippers. But hey, what do I know? So I can't imagine what it's like to have those same people who aren't working out, wearing athleisure, also walking their dogs. It, it's probably infuriating. They're taking up space in cafes, right? The dog's sleeping on the floor and you have to kind of jump over it. You, I always hate that kind of like, false politeness you have to have with other people and their pets you have to like especially the people that kind of look at you and they want you to be impressed by their dog you know they kind of want to want you to impress like look look at my i don't give a fuck about your little sausage dog bro I'll kick it down the road bro i mean that's your baby not mine and it's on oh, one of them instance sprayed along the floor and some coffee shop and you have to kind of try and step over it like honestly people that have dogs are just as annoying as new mothers mothers with prams the, the mothers with prams were like you know career around the corner of fucking shopping aisles and f try and force you out of the way and try and shame you for standing in an aisle when you're trying to fucking get some frozen french fries out from the fucking fridge and they're looking at you like oh but i have a child it's like who gives a fuck about your child man man don't care about your little cynthia man like leave cynthia home or put it in i don't know whatever where's the dad oh okay exactly like fuck off man like you're making me having to fucking dance around your fucking buggy and shit honestly i hate them like i hate dog owners just as much as i hate new mums and their babies it's so annoying they take up all the space and make it look like you know you're like inconveniencing them i love getting into little silent wars with fucking new mums where they're like they they kind of like they come around the corner and they think you're gonna move out of the way because they're a mum with a buggy and you're like i'm not moving i was standing here you go around me and it's like yeah all right cool and she's like, oh, I can't believe it. It's like, yeah, I, I, I can't believe you had a kid. You know what I mean? Uh, I see the shape of your face. I can't believe somebody fucking impregnated you. But again, I can't say that because if I say that, I'll get arrested. So whatever, you know? We all have to kind of suck it up, innit? So anyway, let's go to The Guardian and let's see what they have to say. If New York is dead, then what killed it? Julian Casablanca's blamed brunch. Sean Hannity left the city for Florida after complaining about the income tax. And just before plunging her to her death in the high rise window, um, sh um, Sex and the City's fi um, sorry, fictional party girl, Lexi Featherston. Yo, who watches Sex and the City? Because what kind of character name is that? Lexi Featherston. That's how I know the show is made for white people, isn't it? Only, only a white person would watch a show called Sex and the City and it has a, a character called Lexi Featherston. What the fuck is that? That's the most like trust funding name I've ever seen in my life. Lexi Featherston. Okay. Ranted about how everything started to go wrong in New York City after they banned smoking in bars. This week, Chloe Savengi, long time cool girl, long time it girl, not cool girl, it girl. Chloe Savengi is one of the biggest legends in the world. Added another theory to her list. While promoting a new Ryan Murphy series, um, Feud, Capote and the Swan, Savengi told the Rolling Stone that all dogs, are, the dogs are at fault. She said athleisure and the dogs are taking over and that's really unfortunate. Everybody says Lou Lemon has a fucking dog and it's driving me crazy. I'm sorry, dog lovers. There are too many of you. And I definitely do agree. Especially people that carry the dogs. The ones who carry the dogs like babies, they need, they're the ones that deserve to be lined up against a wall. The people who carry their dogs like babies, you deserve to be lined up against a wall. And you're, you should hold your dogs in your hand as you're lined up against the wall. You both have little fucking blindfolds on and then, you know, stuff happens. But, you know, again, I can't say that because I go to prison. Let's read the article. What do New York dog owners have to say about this? In Brooklyn, Maria Hernandez Park on, in, in Brooklyn's Maria Hernandez Park on Thursday, where a popular dog run was just received approval for 300, they made a, what, hold on, a popular dog run just received approval for a $300 renovation. They're doing dog runs, but they're not, but they're putting fucking skater stoppers on benches. They're not having benches in some places to prevent homeless people from fucking sleeping on them, but they're fucking approving a budget of 300, 
$300,000 to renovate a dog run. So dogs are more important than humans, yeah? Cool, 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 cool. Let's continue. I'm wearing Lululemon now. Really? We couldn't tell. We couldn't tell. We couldn't tell. I'm wearing Lululemon now, so it's a perfect question for me, said Abby. Um, she's an illustrator. Of course you're an illustrator. Of course. An illustrator, of course. Of course. What do you draw? What do you draw? Tell us what you draw, man. Tell us what you draw. Of course. Um, there is a definitely a lack of respect for dog owners. <laughs> Imagine wanting respect because you have a dog. <laughs> what? You want respect for your pronouns. You want respect for who you fuck. You want respect for your political... Like, honestly, c can't you just get respect for being a, a person of strong character? A, a person for your, you know, for your beliefs or the things you do for charity and shit. The things you do for others. Like, identity, identity, identity. So people are actually getting dogs just for respect. <laughs> Imagine you think I respect you for your dog. Get fucked. I probably respect your dog more than I respect you. That's a that's the funny thing. I probably respect a dog more than I respect the actual owner of the dog. Like, <laughs> but anyway, let's continue. Um, there is definitely a lack of respect for dog owners who keep their dogs off leashes or who don't properly train them. All dog owners are the same. Don't try and create this fucking hierarchy of dog owners. Whether you're a fucking whether you're some gypsy down the street or some thug that has his dog on a fucking you know an actual chain that you got from fucking a store somewhere like an actual chain that you went to cover a fucking or bolt a door together with or whether you're some gypsy that walks down the street with their top off and has a dog in front of them right like flexing all dog owners are the same don't try and act like because you gave your dog a little barber jacket that you're better than the fucking guy that doesn't have a leash no you're all the same all dog owners are the same let's relax let's relax there is no hierarchy of dog owners doesn't matter because your dog's got a little fucking bbl that shakes down the street that it's better than other dogs no all dogs are the same i find it very unusual i find it i find this sorry i find that this usually happens in more wealthier neighborhoods neighbor neighborhoods neighborhoods but then people who get penalized for their animals are typically not those white lululemon girls Why aren't you okay? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> nearby, a woman named Stephanie played fetch with her pit bull Bebe, Bebby, Bebby, um, who was off the leash on a soccer turf where dogs are not allowed to play. Dog owners are a specific category of annoying person, she said. I'm annoying to some degree, though it's my responsibility to handle my dog. Okay, I like that self awareness. Big up, Stephanie. I like you. I like that self-awareness. I'm annoying to some degree, though it's my responsibility to handle my dog. I take that seriously, but have you seen how many people let their dogs act up on Upper East Street? Cool. Here's another guy with his dog, right? Um, Jeremy on a walk with his pup, Sigma, agreed that dogs generally behave well in neighborhoods like Bushwick, historically working class. Puerto Rican neighborhoods that's rapidly gentrifying with the influx of young creators priced out downtown Manhattan, Williamsburg. He said that he could imagine wealthier spots such as Svengi's former in the East Village being bastions of entitled owners. So they're trying to say dog owners, act dogs are actually more well behaved in poorer neighborhoods. Is that actually true? I don't, I don't know. That's I don't think that's I don't think that's true. <laughs> I live in a pretty shitty place, and the dogs here are they're not the most. Uh, <laughs> the dogs here kind of do what they want. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if this like working class fucking you know. I don't I don't know if this is true. I live in a fucked up area, and people get ran down the street by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> on a daily basis <laughs> i don't think this is true <laughs> anyway let's continue if i lived in chloe's life where she was walking around with other wealthy people basically being upper class karens having a fit when their dogs aren't allowed to at yoga then i might understand her world is very small um if dogs are what she complains about the most i don't like to slag people off but everyone in brooklyn has a dog and that's not new fact check this writer lives in brooklyn Honestly, who's this saying this? This sounds spicy, isn't it? Chloe Svengi is complaining that people have dogs. She's not saying that she has a dog and she's annoyed that someone won't let her have her dog at her Peloton class. She's saying she hates dogs. She's being quite upfront about it. Okay, somebody sees lips in their dog in the park. That's completely normal. Pick up this guy lipsing his dog. 
Um, out of all the reasons to ring the death knell for once green's great city, dogs might um, seem low on the list. New Yorkers face record high rents and even soaring cost of living. Mayor Eric Adams slashed the price. That's what I don't think. If, you, if you're paying so much money for rent in New York, why would you want another mouth to feed? Unless you're feeding your dog like human food. Why would you want to like run up pet vets, vets, you know, vet, veterinary costs and shit? If you guys are having, you know, people are paying like two grand a month more for fucking bedroom in new york why did why would you get a dog why why don't you just keep the money for yourself across the east river sorry uh, let's continue here new yorkers face record high rents and even soaring cost of living may eric adams slashed the the city's budgets um, affecting schools, libraries and sanitation and more. Um, walk through just about any public park in Manhattan and you're bound to run into a 20-something with a mini microphone asking if you'll answer a few questions for a TikTok video. Surely all those examples are far worse than the Canine Companions. Nah, 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 nah. I think dog owners are worse than people that ask questions about, you know, on TikTok. I'm sorry. Those kids who are making content on TikTok, they are they are the least of our problems because that's a trend that will go away at one time dog owners are never gonna go away dog owners are worse plague on society than tiktokers ever are i don't care i'll stand on that shit across the east river in downtown manhattan washington square um park the site the setting for savengi's breakout role coming of age street drama kid isabel mino and um, spent her morning in a dog park with nirvana a pitbull mix with striking blue eyes and a peaceful demeanor worthy of her name um mino took oh, peaceful demeanor yeah how did that band end then come on peaceful mino took um issue with savengi's assumption that all new york dog owners were rich and could afford lululemon where yoga pants can cost more <laughs> Of course, you're going to fucking start nitpicking what she said as opposed to what she, oh, the general, okay, whatever. Let's continue. She's talking about the 1%, but that's not me. And it's not a lot of people. So if you're not on one percenter, why do you own a dog in New York? Please tell me. If you're not a one percenter and you don't have much money, why do you have a dog? Surely you should use that money to like, I don't know, get fucked up. I don't know, hire some hookers. I don't know. Owning a dog doesn't have to do with money. It has to do with love. What? You can look after dog with love. Okay. New York can be a very lonely city and looking for humans to love is not always easy. Life isn't easy, bitch. Get outside and make some friends. It's hard to find friends. Like, come on, man. I have friends now, but it took me a couple of years to get that point and dogs help you're finding friends with dogs but you're using you're using dogs to catch friends like uh, like so dogs are like a form of dog dogs are like a pokemon ball right that's how you're catching friends you're praying at the bait having a dog and hoping some weirdo touches your dog uninvited and then that becomes your friend cool great way to start a friendship no no noel w anderson was in the park walking theophilus monk of course this guy named his dog theophilus monk of course he did of course Ugh. i wish i could be that corny man i really do wish i could be that corny um his foxtown mix new york university art professor called his four-year-old pup a studio dog <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those annoying professors that would walk down the fucking corridor to the fucking lectures with his little dog next to him like <sighs> oh to be fair that dog is kind of cute i take it back that girl's dog isabella mino that dog is fucking cute that nirvana that that's a fucking cute dog right let's not let's not lie i take that kind of back that's a cute dog fuck the owner the dog's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. That dog's really cute. Um, wh when my students are having a hard time, they lay, their, they, lay, they lay on the floor and pet him. Your students are fucking dumb. Um, dogs are a hell of a benefit um, emotionally and New York can, will put you through the fucking ringer. Maybe Chloe needs to reformulate her understanding of what life needs to be. Why does New York have to be gritty? That's just this bullshit illusion of the... Bro, New York was formed on. Have you honestly? Why New? York, what do you want? You want New York to be fucking Dubai? It's never gonna be that, bro. New York is always meant to be gritty. That's a history in New York. It's grit. Um, that's his bullshit illusion of the city that you have to struggle to make it. But dogs are healers, 
Um, Jenny Dween had brought up her pup Winston to the park on the day of hoping she ran into a doggist. And Insta- <laughs> there's an Instagram called Doggist, an Instagram account run by pet photographer Elias Elias Weiss Friedman. What's this Doggist account? What is this? The Doggist. Yo, imagine going out wanting to be papped with your dog. Like, are you redacted? How in how embarrassing of an adult you have to be to willingly go out in your coolest clothes to get packed by this fucking Instagram account. Like, you're a fucking loser. I can't believe some people, honestly. I really can't believe some adults. But whatever, let's continue. Um, Winston wore a grey and red striped sweater for the occasion. Winston. Dwin felt disappointed by Sev- the Swingy's dance. Of course she did. Um, first of all, who cares what you wear? She's always wearing low high, low high stuff. She's all people should let us have our Lululemon. Second, if people chose to put their dog in a sweater and a bow tie, then so be it. Oh, God almighty, man. All right, whatever you say, lady great for you happy for you but i stand in solidarity with chloe savengi nothing she says could ever be wrong because she is the original it girl and cool girl everything she says is fucking facts big up chloe savengi the absolute b-i-t-c-h out there i love her i've always loved her and i always will remain loyal to chloe savengi 